Hi Sagittarius, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also look at a few oracle cards to give you additional information as well. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, awareness of the week. Okay, awareness of the week, three of pentacles. This is a week for you to pay attention to your group work, your interactions with others, particularly at the office if you're working together with other people on your team to try to focus on helping each other listening, sharing, compromising, negotiating. Uh, this builder here is working to create this beautiful structure. And we can maybe um, speculate that these folks here are helping, helping to make decisions, helping to guide the process. But this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a case for you to be proud of your skills and of your talents and your abilities and your, uh, your recognition will come to you as a result of what you create, of what you build. But this is a group dynamic card, so your awareness is to pay attention to your relationships, whether that's your marriage or your family relationships. There's a sense here of working together toward a common goal. So as we're talking about relationships, here's the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a gift or blessing from the universe. And it is, as you can see, the water's overflowing from the cup. And uh, this means a couple things. It means you may have an opportunity to meet someone, to connect, to feel the spark, to feel an attraction, to develop a relationship. If you are single and looking, this is a very positive and favorable card. Get yourself out there. Put yourself in plenty of situations where you can meet people. This card's about happiness and delight and the joy that comes from having deep and meaningful relationships. It's also an important reminder that if you are involved, if you are in love with someone, if you care for someone, even a great friend, a great friendship, is to tell them to express your feelings, to show that you care and that they mean something to you. So it's simply a lovely card that speaks to the possibilities of deep emotional connections with others and where we get happiness from the relationship, from having this other person with our, within our life. Now, it also could be that maybe you're getting excited about an activity or a hobby or something that you're feeling the love for that. There's a lot of love here. A lot of um, depth going to your own emotions. So now let's look for guidance. Okay, so for guidance, we have the Major Arcana card of temperance. And you can see the angel here pouring the water from cup to cup, the ultimate in balance, the ultimate in going with the flow and not spilling a drop. So when we see temperance, we think of a couple words. We think of balance, we think of equilibrium, and we think of integration. It's the blending of the aspects of your life, your physical sense, um, your, or your physical self, your emotional self, the spiritual side, your ability to connect with spirit and the universe and guides. So as you can see, the toe dipping in the water, the toe on 
land. It's the balance between the two. So within your life of finding the right balance and, and doing so the best way that you know how, whether that's extra rest, whether that's paying attention to what you eat, getting more exercises, exercising, excuse me, or again, maybe you need more connections and more focus on relationships or things that you love for the week. Um, and maybe you've been working hard as part of the group, but you're really, your mind is on, on relationships where you can express how you feel and your emotions and you can develop and grow it. So temperance would say, don't do things in extreme, go the middle route, go to the middle ground, but take care of yourself and make sure that you're in balance and do so however you need to do. So with this sense of balance and integration, here we have the Six of Pentacles. And in the Six of Pentacles, you see the finely dressed man handing out a few coins to one of the beggars. So there's the duality of this card, which is that sometimes you're in a position to help out and to give. Other times you have to ask for help or support. Uh, we never know how circumstances can change. So it's important to be of service when you're in a position to be of service. Um, ask for help when you need it. More often than not, people want to help. But what's always curious about this illustration is the scales. How often do we give uh, or be of service, but we measure it out. We're doling it out. We're, we're going to a formula. So there's a piece here about, you know, to be mindful of when you are giving, to do so from an open and authentic place versus from a place of power or from control. So... Um, if you are in a position where you need some assistance and maybe you need help getting more balance in your life, ask for it. If you're in a position to give, give, give without restraint, give without expectation, be of service. So now let's choose a couple cards for possible outcomes. All the way down here. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. <laughs> so, possible outcomes. We have the positivity again of the Ace of Wands. Gift or blessing from the universe for you to go forth and to create. To take this wand, to think about the things that excite you, that bring you joy, that are your passion projects. And go out there and create them, manifest them. While you've been maybe thinking about these ideas, now's the time to make the move. Now's the time to take your power and to make the move. Do it and create something new. Create something that's passionate for you. So along with this, here we have the Tower, Major Arcana card. as a possible outcome that something within your life, your daily routine, will be disrupted. It could be a surprise to you. You may feel blindsided. You may feel out of control. This may upset your balance that you've been working so hard to get a hold of. You may need to be asking for support now that we see this tower. So the tower is the universe's what universe's way of getting in touch with you to say, hmm, things aren't quite the way that they should be. We're going to destroy this tower. And you have a chance to start from scratch, to build a more beautiful building, to build a firmer foundation, to put yourself in the position to lead the life that you want. And so perhaps something has to really change for you in your life. Something has to go. You have to absorb the shock and the pain, but let the universe do its thing. And then 
what I would say is the happiness in the relationship ultimately will be yours. Life is a process. These things are a process. We have to sometimes go through some challenges before we get to the right place. Um, this could be, again, unexpected, but this is a restructuring. So ultimately, it may not feel like it, but ultimately you're going to be put into the right place. You're going to be, you know, maybe as we see this Ace of Wands, this is about passions. This is about working together. Maybe there's an issue with this work that's not quite for you. And uh, you're going to be in a position where you can get to the right work, to the, to the right purpose. So we often say the tower is the blessing in disguise. We, don't, we shouldn't focus on it. We should focus on what we do have in this, in these, in this reading and with these cards, which is two powerful aces, the ace of cups, your emotional well-being, your emotional stability, your emotional happiness. We have the need for balance. We have a sense of support, but ultimately we get back our power. So let's get a little more information, whoops, from the Oracle cards. This will be a meditation or focus for the week. Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Again, a process. There are always bumps in the road, but when you're happy, embrace it, share it, you know, wear it. <laughs> and uh, if you're having down a downturn for the week or, or, you know, a month, you'll get through it. Just remember to focus on what does bring you passion within your life. So now let's take a look at your emotional self or spiritual self. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So this is a real message for you to trust yourself, to trust what happens, to trust that the universe is leading you into the right place. Not, again, to process. Things are never easy, but we get through it and ultimately we get to, hopefully, the life that we want to lead. So now I'm going to choose a card for love. You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. And again, anything you choose to do, the Ace of Wands, using your personal power to create and to manifest what you want in your life, how to incorporate passions. You can do anything you choose to do have successful relationships, meaningful relationships that add happiness to your life. This is what I have for you this week, and I hope that something here resonates with you. If it does, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Take care.